Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> we got a pretty cool little breakdown today. Uh, finished all the antennas. Uh, we found some cool stuff. Some really nice gold jacks. Look at the color on those. Nice orange color to them. Uh, they're just plated. They're not solid, unfortunately. I don't know if any jacks are ever solid gold, but... Um, Where's the other thing full of potentially silver plated stuff? Ah. So we found all these little connectors, I believe to be silver plated. I think those are silver plated. I think these are too. These little discs. I think they're brass underneath, but I believe they got a silver coating to them. And then whatever the heck these are, I believe that is gold plating, nice and shiny. So we'll recover all of that. And then we've got all the connector ends for the antennas and they're silvery color but when you scratch them it's hard to tell uh, but i believe they are white brass you've got different kinds of brass you got yellow brass red brass and white brass when you scratch these there's a very very faint hint of yellow so that's why i'm calling them white brass but we're gonna see how much we can recover off of all of these. Everything else is aluminum. So, I guess let's get started. There's all different types of ends on here. Some of them you need a wrench. Some of them you need screws taken out. And the others, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. There's a lot on here, so. There's little caps you can take off. Some of them are gold plated, some of them not. But let's see what we can retrieve out of here. When you scratch it on here, on the file, you can see yellow shavings, but it's really hard to tell. But it is yellow. Very slight hint. So that's why I'm calling it white brass. The scrapyard's going to have to take a real good look at it to believe me that it's brass, but it is. I don't know. I've hardly ever come across white brass, so I was told by the scrapyard about white brass because we had something one time that they were like oh it's aluminum and i said that's no, too heavy to be aluminum so we determined it was white brass and apparently white brass can be magnetic when it's near a highly energized area it can become magnetic apparently but yeah, anyway. Let's see what we can get have to clean the coax off of these but we'll just put them in the bucket for now worry about that later it will slow us down now if we try to do that Some nice gold jacks on the end of these two. So 
that. I tried to find a socket that would take these off. They're pretty big, but I don't have the right size. I've got big sockets up to one and a half inch, but I think it's one and a fourth, because one and a eighth wouldn't fit. It was too small and one and a half is too big. And I don't have a one and a fourth. Kind of a weird size. This is just aluminum with some kind of connectors on the end. I'll try to pry those off. Try to open up those later to see what's in it. Probably some gold connectors. If anything, I'll just throw it in dirty aluminum. We'll just put that to the side for now. Little circuit board on here. These will spin off or not. Trying. We may try to recover that later. Well, it looks like it wants to, it just wants to spin. to go behind that tree. Let's see if we can come over here and see if we can see any better. Just let the screws drop in the bucket. Separate them out later. They're stainless. I've already checked a bunch of them to see if they're brass. They are not. on these just in case they are not the same 
and they are the same. They are white brass. careful not to strip these because they're super small and easy to strip. I have found that the smaller the screw the easier to strip out. And we got all different size screws. Little Allen, Big Allen. We got Torx. Security bits, all of it. Thankfully, no flatheads that I've come across. There's one strip. Probably need to turn the torque down. Almost got it. Find the ones that have the same bit to try to get this assembly line going. And then we'll come back for the circuit boards, the little tiny circuit boards. Different type, different type different time. Wiggle your way on it. That way it's not super torqued on there. And wiggle when you come almost all the way out. That's the trick to getting them to fall off. 
sometimes, not all the time, but. So that was an old bit. Let's see. Especially when these bits heat up, they'll strip even easier. So I may have to come back, take a break, wait for it to cool down, or I guess you could keep a little bit of water nearby and dip it in there to cool it down between, you know, a couple different passes because they will heat up quick. Especially with these high precision screws are very tight. Some are, you know, lower end stuff is not as tight fitting on the uh, screwdriver. And while we're here, we'll get all this rubber and tape off the best we can. Too hot, not too cold. nice pile of brass. We had I think 16 antennas. There's still one more on the trailer. Different type that I haven't opened up yet. But yeah there's really not much going on in those. A bunch of coax cable and aluminum and plastic. <clears throat> you know people say there's precious metals in there and maybe I found some. But Man, the cell phone companies have a monopoly, I swear. You know, and they're scamming everybody. You know, some people have multiple cell phones, one for work, one for personal. And if you think about it, let's average, say, $50 a month, right? How many freaking cell phones are out there paying $50 a month, whether it be you paying it or your company paying it? Someone's paying it. That's a lot of money, you know? Let's say there's... 200 million people with a cell phone that may be exaggerating but almost everybody's got a cell phone 
and some of those people have two. So we'll say there's 200 million cell phones out there. That's just my rough estimate. Times that by 50 bucks. You do the math. And you tell me that there's a reason that it's so expensive. Yes, they got to build the tower. Yes, they got to run copper miles of copper wire. But, I mean, come on. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. Food for thought. That's a different thing. rolling with the same type until we get through it. Yeah, the company that I ran into driving around, that's how I get most of my contacts. I see people working, you know, whether it's people on cell phone towers like the other day. And uh, they were actually mowing. And I was like, oh, well, maybe I should just stop just in case they work on towers. Maybe they mow their own towers because there's weeds and stuff. And I was like, okay, I'll stop never hurts to ask sure enough they weren't just a mowing company they were the company that works on towers i was like god i'm so glad i stopped and i said do y'all have any scrap that you need hauled off and they were like yeah we have a whole pile of the antennas we were about to get a dumpster and just throw them away they usually just throw them away i was like wow well i'm your dumpster now save you hundreds of dollars on dump fees just give them to me because I've got places where I can take my uh, trash for free nice contractors that I already have dumpsters and pay for it a flat rate they let me dump whatever I need to into them so that's pretty cool because that can make a break a deal on scrap if you've got a whole bunch of trash from it you need somewhere to dump it. Most of the times you gotta pay money to do that. So be on the lookout for contractors that will say, hey, if you have any kind of trash, just go ahead and throw it in the bin, whatever. So it's always nice to have in your back pocket. I know it's not super expensive to dump stuff at the dump, but I mean, it's definitely money cutting into your profit margin. If you can avoid it, it's recommended, obviously. So I'm probably only going to get aluminum breakage for these cell antennas. Because I don't feel like trying to clean that up at all. It's just going to take too long. There's not enough money in it, I don't think. I mean, they're pretty heavy, but once you take all that plastic and coax off, the weight's probably not even there. Uh, I mean, I could run a test on one of them to do it. I just, I don't have time. You know, I got the stuff for free. So whether it's breakage or whether it's, you know, dirty aluminum, whatever, it's, it was free. All I had to do was pick it up. Wasn't very far away, didn't take much gas. So, anyhow. I'm just gonna turn it in the way it is. 
and hope that they give me breakage. Oh. on this aluminum and give it away for free. See, some of the pins are definitely gold plated. And I would say it's pretty good gold plating on those. So we might try to, uh, even underneath, all the way down. Trying to get some light on it. It's kind of hard to see under there. There you go. Good gold plating in there. Some of them don't have it. But some of them do. Then you got the little circuit board. It's got little resistors on there with gold plating. I might take those off and put that in the mixed gold bucket. Other than that, there's not much on these. I mean, there's gold plating all over these. I might have to separate them. You know, they got those little gold dots everywhere. I don't know if that makes a difference in the quality of the board or if there's gold flashing underneath the whole, you know, the whole layer there. Maybe there's a whole layer of gold flashing. Well, we got our aluminum there. We'll throw that in the bucket. What else we got? We got any more of those? I don't think so. So we're going to switch over a bit. sitting around here somewhere.
deal with. It's around here somewhere, I just don't see it. Well, it's in one of my pockets somewhere. I swear it was in there. It's hiding somewhere. So let's see if we got the right size in here. Maybe so, maybe not. Nope, we got it. Have that many threads, do you? There we go. Another little board. What would this board go as the way it is? Let me know. Sell it already? Huh? Did you sell it already? Oh. She's always got some kind of critter. She's a good hunter. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah.
bunch of screws in these ones. So the guy, hey, the guy that comes over in that truck, is that his brother? Or is that just another Marine? He's just a friend. Okay. He keeps just like fucking What does he do? He it looks like a freaking bodybuilder. That's what he does. He just sits there and exercises. Does he so train? He his forearm or his oh no. Thing like five times in the last, like, he can do a lot of heels. Does he train people? He should train people. The way he looks. He's a beast. Uh, yeah, well. He, he's, he's, yeah. Some people do. Yeah. Right up Mike's alley, right? They could be brothers. They look like brothers. They do. They act like it. Oh, yeah. He's over here all the time. He said that his dad has a farm out in Bethpage. said he'll take a picture of what's there. I said, if there's a big enough pile, I'll come and get it. Yeah. He said there's a big pile of stuff, appliances. And... So, I mean, he's trustworthy from what we've oh, yeah. so far. Yeah. So far, he's just pretty goddamn trustworthy. How long y'all known him? We had to call him a few times, and he was, boom, right there. Yeah. Like, right, Seems like a nice guy. He got a death trouble a while back. Oh. Uh, right, I hear you. Who hadn't been in trouble, you know? Everybody's been in trouble at some point. Yeah. Yeah, y'all got enough vehicles, you gotta start. Yeah, I know. These Until all the leaves come off, it's just those aphids are gonna keep crapping all over the car. Because that tree is the same as this one, isn't it? I believe. Yeah. And then you got another one beside it, too. There's three of them. Wow. There's one really little one. And this bitch has to go up our rent. I'm sitting here thinking about, like, telling them, you know what, if you're going to ask for the rent, I want these trees coming. Yeah, I can't believe he's doing that. That's so bullshit. stupid. Because he found out Mike's making more money. That's bullshit. And he found out about what I'm making, so he's like, well, we can all Yeah, that's... Right. And it's already almost two grand. That's crazy. Ours has been up a few times, but it's a duplex. You can't find anything cheaper than this. Thousand dollars a month. Utilities are included. No. Never. You can find a little bedroom in the back of some sketchy ass house for, you know, less, but Yeah, exactly. Like like a little closet space, right? Here, honey, here's your closet. This is your new room. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're still here. It's so damn cheap. We should be, yeah. Right. Well, some people think that when you got money, you got to spend it. It's not true. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, when the housing prices come back down, that would be nice to have a big stack of money to put a down payment. Prices are high as hell right now. I think the average house price 
in Gallatin and Henderson or Sumner County is like 350. And that it's crazy. Yep. 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 That's that's wild. Wow. Yeah, they're building so much stuff now. It's around here. It's crazy. You would think, but usually it goes up for some reason, which makes no sense. But. drove by a new neighborhood the other day it said starting at 500 and they were like little houses it's like no way yep. e oh yeah easily easily exactly. yeah they never have yards right Yeah. Yeah. Which isn't that what caused the 2008 market crisis? It's gonna happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Make prices go down. Right. Then why should we be punished? Yeah. Yeah, not, it's like the the car places, no credit needed. I'm like, I had a 720 credit score. I went up to CarMax and they wanted me to pay twenty five thousand dollars for a used vehicle, Camry. That's how much I paid, huh? With good credit, yes. Absolutely crazy. My payment for a 2017 Camry used. With 30 something thousand miles, the, the payment was gonna be like $580 a month with good credit. And I said, no, here you go, I'll just pay cash for it. I don't want the payments. I hate to know how much that truck is, but I know his company's gonna be paying for it, so. Wow, that's lucky. That's very nice. what you said <laughs> right well he said he's gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff in the garage and give some to matt and he said whatever else he doesn't want he'll just throw over here that'd be nice Oh yeah, all that stuff yeah, over there. All on that. <laughs> the thing's overflowing. That was the fastest little scooter I think I've ever seen. It sounded like it was about to blow up. 
Yeah, those don't go that fast. Normally. Yeah. That thing was getting it. Get right. Let's knock these last ones out real quick. too long so got the chatting about 15 to 20 pounds including all the other stuff I've got in this bucket I took a couple other ones apart we found some motors in those some circuit boards and a bunch of stainless steel hardware so appreciate y'all stopping by sorry about the long video but uh, hopefully y'all enjoy up next we'll have some of these other pieces I got from the uh, 
uh, the cell phone people. So should be some interesting stuff in those. I would think they're nice and heavy or all aluminum. So we'll see what we can find inside. Hopefully there's some precious metals in there. Somewhere, somehow, we're going to find some precious metals in this stuff. There's got to be something in these. Anyways, appreciate you stopping by. Stay tuned for more.